Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my van build. For any new watchers who haven't been with me since the beginning, I moved back home from Spain to Louisiana, pandemic started, bought a van, and finally stopped letting my perfectionism get in the way and started building out this van with the goal of traveling around the US. Last video, my goal was to build out my kitchen framing and well, that didn't happen. I had to prep and finish up some things first and I'm not quite done with that yet. Continue with me along this van building journey and I promise I'll start framing out my kitchen cabinets soon enough. Hello and welcome back. Like I just said, doing the kitchen cabinets is my next step and I promise we're gonna get there one day. But first I have to continue prepping the area, like installing my wall carpet and sealing off the window. I finally moved my van from near my house under my porch where my makeshift scaffold was back over to the shed. But first I took it for a drive down the street just to make sure everything is still working. It doesn't move as much as it should but I promise it's gonna be on the road soon enough. As for all the tools used in this video, they will be linked in the Google Sheet link in the description below, as is all the tools from my previous videos as well. And for the hundredth time, thank you so, so, so much for following me along this journey. I love reading all of your comments, so make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get started. So today I was hoping to get a lot accomplished on my van but it is my friend Nadia's birthday, so we are going out and having some brunch. I am getting ready really quick. You've seen my videos before, you know I'm not a big makeup person. We are going to Gris, 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 Grease, Grease. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. And there we go, my makeup look. I have to leave in a few minutes. I'll see you guys soon and I hope I am back in time while the sun is still up and I, my goal is to change the air filter on my van. Give one look and good lighting. Okay, so I just got back from Gris Gris is what it's called, not Gris Gris. As much as I don't want to be out here, it's freezing, I'm tired. I'm going to get this air filter changed. This is the old filter and this is the new filter. You can see it definitely is past time for a change. This is so gross. Okay, so the weather is looking super promising this week, so I'm hoping to get some things accomplished. My fabric wall carpet came in, as well as my gray water tank. I still have a few more things I need to do before I can get back to framing out my kitchen, but first, work. In the amount of time it took me to film that time lapse, not only did I break my ring light off of the tripod, I break the ring light itself. I mean, it's sure it's all fixable, but literally a nine second time lapse and I just broke half of my equipment. So the idea was to use this gaps and cracks for under the stair and you know, all the gaps and cracks, but it's too cold outside. It is in the fifties right now. And it says the usage temperature is between 60 and 90. Optimal is 75. So we're not doing this today. I guess I can take out the carpet and go do that. And that's what I'm supposed to do. I know it in my soul, that's what I need to do. But this sounded a lot easier. So I went and found my adhesive spray. It was literally sitting right next to where I'm standing, but I went all around the house looking for it. And so that spray also has a temperature for minimum 60 degrees. I usually don't care about those things, but I don't want the stuff to fall off. So I guess I'll wait. And maybe at least go brainstorm what the heck I'm even doing. Okay, this is my carpet that I got in the color of not toast brown because toast was out of stock, so this is brown. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what the game plan is. It might, is there a reason why I'm trying to save this wrapping? Okay, so just unwrapped it and 
It's a pretty thin material. It's good, like that's what I want. The color is nice. I didn't want to get something that was so bright that you could see, like that was white and you could see stains and get dirty. Now I just have to figure out how to apply it. What I'm thinking is to put it like this, staple it right on the bottom of this 2x4, fold it over. It's like kind of flush up here and then I'll adhere it with the glue like that and have it conform to all of the little nooks and stuff. But what I'm contemplating, do I want it to conform to that? Or like, can I create something that makes it flat? I still can't accomplish that pretty much like all week because of the weather. I still need to get back to this window, which I should do first. The time has come. I give up. I got the drill. I'm removing my one by six. I just dragged my AirPod and caught it in my sleep. Nothing is ever as easy, but you know what to make things easier? Planning. I didn't really have a plan when I did this whole van. I'm doing it one step at a time, and sometimes those steps are out of order. I'm doing the best I can. Ugh. Maybe I can just like kick it. Ooh. It cracked, just a little. Let's see if I can slide this into place now. What am I doing? Why is this so hard? Okay, it is in, but it's not right at all. Okay, so it's a little big on the top. I'm gonna take it out and kind of just trim it around all over. I thought this would be easier once I took the one by six off, but it is not. It is easier, but still very hard. I still need to do little trims, and I think it's ready. Oh my gosh, it's so close. It's very possible that this is my last try. That looks good, that looks good. Not the final try, but very close. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why is it still so big on the side? What the heck? Last time. I swear it. Very, 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 very last try. I promise. After many, 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 many tries, it fits. Okay, before we go ahead and get started painting, I'm gonna go ahead and let the chickens out so they can roam the yard. Okay, it is a new day. I have a late start because I've been avoiding coming outside because I thought it was freezing. It just turns out it's windy. It's actually really nice weather right now. I'm going to get this step knocked out of the way. I have my gaps and cracks like I already mentioned. I already explained it. We're gonna go ahead and fill in the holes on the side. D7, 58, 59, and 60. Okay, it's well shaken. Screw this on. Hopefully, it's been sitting out for a while. Hopefully, it works. to move on to the fabric and getting that done before I can seal up my window. The idea is to have the cloth sitting on the edge of it, stapling it over, and then folding it back over and adhering the bottom piece with the adhesive spray. This is my test run. Okay, so I officially cut my first piece of fabric and I think my fear in general with any fabric would be fraying. And honestly, the ends look pretty crisp where I cut. How are we gonna hold it up here? Oh no, cramps. Okay, my left leg is the flexible one. Oh, okay, oh goodness. There we go. Tape, tape, tape. 
it's flush with the bottom of the 2x4, a little over, but that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and staple it. Where's the stapler? Okay, I have the whole thing very loosely stapled. I think eventually I'm going to go back and staple more, so because uh, am I procrastinating on folding this over? Yes, I am. down oh it's a lot firmer than I thought it would be could it look better yeah but this is what we're working with I don't think it looks bad kind of I don't love it after all that stapling whenever you pull down on it it kind of bubbles out and looks really funky to say the least I cannot commit to what I want to do I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the opposite what I just did I'm gonna start from the bottom right here, spray this, and then work my way up. I'm like 98% committed to that idea. So I went ahead and cut away all of the fabric where the staples are that's still there. I can't get them out yet, but I already glued under here. I think this looks better already. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with how this looks. It's not the best, but it was better than the whole staple idea. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the window on the side, and this is what needs to be done in order for me to seal up that window the next step so i went ahead and measured it with this little scrap i'm going to go ahead and cut the next piece and do the same exact thing i did on this side okay okay i can always cut that later okay Okay, so I finished installing all of the fabric just around this window at least. I wanted to get this far so I can go ahead and seal up this window. The fabric doesn't look the best. I mean, it, pro it looks as good as I thought it would look, so there's that. Um, I can always go back and fix up some of the seams that uh, you can see the white right here. It just looks a little lumpy from all of the different bumps and divots in the van wall. I just want to go ahead and get this plywood installed so I can have that blank slate and really start framing out my kitchen cabinets is the goal. Okay, I already know this is about to be a super messy process, but I am ready to go ahead and use my caulk adhesive to put along the metal and adhere my little plywood piece to have a flat surface so I can start building my kitchen framing. Since I have to slide it so specifically into here, like it's not like I can just caulk the wood and place it on. So I know it's going to be so messy, but here we go. Let's see if this caulk is even still good. Okay, I finally got the caulk ready. I just had to jigsaw the tip off. This thing is on its last leg. I've used it multiple times, so usually they harden up. I'm surprised I got that much use out of it. Now it's officially time to get started. <laughs> caulked up to the wall. I've created some braces with 2x4s to make sure everything is adhering properly and as best as possible since there's a little bit of curvature along the window. And now basically we wait. 
Okay, so the caulk has dried. I'm going to remove the braces, make sure everything's stuck, and then go ahead and install my one by six back to where it goes. Okay, so I think it adhered pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this one by six back on and hopefully I can finally get to the kitchen. Okay, the level doesn't really help because it shows this side is so much higher, but this side is going to have the water, it's going to have the fridge, so I'm accounting for all of that. And now that my 1x6 is up, I can start piecing together my kitchen and still trying to figure out what the next steps for that's going to be. Okay, so now that I have my window prepped, I am ready to start framing out my kitchen. What you might not know about me is that I am currently a business consultant, and a lot of people have no idea what a business consultant does. Basically, I spend all of my week playing in Excel and PowerPoint. Last night, I went in Excel and I made a draft of what my kitchen cabinets would look like because that's the next step for me and I still have no idea how it's gonna work. I drafted up this beautiful picture through Google Sheets. I'm gonna share it with you guys. And I have my fridge, a drawer right on top of my fridge, the sink, a cabinet, where the wheel well is, and two more drawers. So this is the rough draft of how my kitchen is going to look. You can see that it is 50 inches long and it is 34 inches high. Building it around the fridge since that's the only definitive measurement I need to fit. I actually already bought the fridge. It's a Dometic 65T CRX. I believe that's what it is. I'll have it linked in my product sheet below in the Google Sheet link like always. But I believe it is 60 liters of cool storage with an optional 7 liters of freezer storage. I guess I can go ahead and get my fridge out right now. I went get my instructions to start reading it, but Trent just came home with Chick-fil-A. So I'm going to take a quick lunch break and I'll be right back. But that also means that Trent can move my fridge because I was trying to figure out how the heck I'm going to do it myself. Okay, we just ate our Chick-fil-A. Trent also bought a new phone. He has an iPhone now, so I'm going to make him help me bring the fridge out and in exchange I will help him set up his iPhone. All right, it took a lot longer than expected to help Trent set up his new phone. He went from a Samsung, Android or whatever to an Apple iPhone. So big change for him, but we finally got everything sorted out and he's still, he's playing with his avatar right now and making that. And then my mom got involved. So I'm like, okay, good time to step out and come back to my van. So I kind of have a little mock setup of how the kitchen will look. I feel like I've had like 10,000 versions of a mock setup, but each time I do it, it takes it one step further because I have my fridge. This is the plywood that I haven't cut yet and thankfully I haven't cut it yet because it looks like the one I did cut is not working out. So I have this giant piece right here. It is not cut to height. It is not cut to length but it's there with my fridge right here. Opens like this and there you go. I have the inside of my fridge. Next to my fridge in between my bed and the fridge will be the sink right about here. The sink will drain and then kind of go up against the back of the wall down to where it drains into the floor. That goes into the gray water tank that will be mounted under my van. And then I have this wheel well and the cabinet that's up against my bed. There's probably going to be one drawer right here, one drawer right here. And then the plumbing, there's about five inches between the end and the back of the wheel well. The plumbing will probably be right here and probably have like a little latch that kind of pulls it down so I can store other things as well. And then the my 30 gallon water tank will be up against the cabinet under my bed. And there you have it. The problem is I'm feeling like just by looking at it. So this is ideally cut to size and I'm thinking it's not working anymore because having this where it is 
and then having my fridge right here it looks like the fridge sticks out so much more than this would be able to cover but wouldn't you want the fridge to stick out a little like because of the hinges it needs like at least that much space for the door to open so i'm thinking maybe that's okay so i have a lot of thinking before i actually go out and buy more materials trying to use the least amount of materials as possible to make it lighter but obviously you want it to be super sturdy um i was gonna put like a plywood right here but now i'm thinking maybe i could put like two by fours just for something to mount it to because i also want to make sure that the fridge has enough airflow a lot of things to think about i think the kitchen is going to be the hardest part and then once i finish the kitchen i will definitely say plumbing is going to be the hardest part so i'm not looking forward to that either okay so as you can see i've done a lot of planning for this if you didn't already notice i'm a planner i probably spend 10 times the amount of time planning for something before actually doing it which is a blessing and a curse at the same time but in the background i'll be doing more planning trying to figure out these measurements and figuring out which materials i'm going to use before i start building everything but i've used so much brain power today just from helping trent set up his iphone and doing this right now so it's almost mardi gras here in new orleans and I'm gonna go reward myself with a king cake. Unfortunately, I won't be participating in any Mardi Gras activities this season. I will be going visit my best friend in the whole world in a couple of weeks, and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. But I hope you like this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I promise I will be back in the van soon enough. Just a brief intermission, and hopefully next time I'm back in the van, I will be building out my kitchen cabinet framing. Not the whole thing, just the framing part at least and i will see you guys next time happy early mardi gras okay so i just left drove to my local grocery store to get a king cake and zero nothing there was nothing left just a big empty table of crumbs mm -hmm. i don't know what i'm doing and then what am i doing again <laughs> This is easy.